Hey YouTube, it's Hanna Loba. If you want more Moto America content, check out the new and vastly improved Moto America Live Plus app. It's the only place you can catch all the race action in one place all season long. Click the link in the description below. Jake has been strong this week. And then we have Davis, Gerardo, and Ty Scott back there on row number two. Kayla Yakov, and yes, Larry Pegram is back. Qualified eighth. What a what a job from him. Stefano Mesa, Van, uh, Max Van, Dave Anthony, and Teague Hobbs outside row four. A little further back, Riston Greg, Chase Black, Corey Alexander, who's just had a, a, just so many problems this weekend. Aiden Sneed, good to see him doing well. Torin Collins and CJ LaRoche. Owen Williams and the Saney Mags. No, Saltis and Leon are outside row number eight. Omen, Rivera, Horny, Enriquez, Crossman, and Vandal. Keep All going. the way back there in row Keep number going, 10. And we got pal. one more, don't we? Chris Murph. <laughs> Chris Murphy, Tropkoff, Davis, and Hernandez as we are getting ready to go green. 34 racers in this 16 lap affair. When lights go out like that, we're away racing. How did the front row make out the 15 and the 11? And it's gonna be the 15 of PJ Jacobson. Well, what about Maxi Gerardo on the 161? He slots himself into third. It looked like Jake Lewis got a great jump as well, but he just got out dragged, but he goes around the outside of Gerardo in turn two. That is a bold move from the 85. You can see he just got done with his last races. He's in his uh, baggers leathers because he didn't have time to switch him over. But as they go down that back straightaway for the first time, it's going to be the two title contenders running first and second. But Greg Jake Lewis has a fast motorcycle this weekend. Talk to him a little bit. He was really happy with his bike. Matthew Schultz is not going to take any time. He's going to go Whoa. stuff it up underneath. P.J. Jacobson at the end of the back straightaway. And these riders watching is now P.J. tried to look up the inside, but Jake Lewis on the 85. He rides for the Altus Motorsports team on that GSXR 750. He may not have had any time to change his leathers between the last race and this race, but that's the team he races for. And we have a Yamaha R6, a Ducati Pentagali V2, and a GSXR 750 getting after it as we welcome the third member of our broadcast team to Super Sport Race number one. As they go down this back straight, oh, he's going to pull over to the left. I think P PJ knew there was somebody right behind him. And Jake's trying to go around the outside. Let's Whoa. see if he makes it. Dude, that's so dangerous. The track has been washed away, you know, with uh, grip over the over the evening hours and didn't think there was a lot of traction, a lot of rubber on the race line where Jake Lewis went. But he, for Skultz, 28-3, fastest lap of the race for the 15 of Jacobson. But I think to your point earlier, I think Jake Lewis pulling up alongside PJ is going to alter his thoughts as far as I can't mess around. I can't just sit back here and let that half second just sit there because he's got somebody pushing him from behind. Then the last thing that Jake wants, or the last thing PJ wants, is to have to try to get through two riders. So he's going to push forward and try to get up on the back of Matthew Skultz. Matthew loves to lead, and we know that. And again, Jake Lewis is running with both of these guys now. We've been wondering who's going to step up. And this weekend, it looks like the 85 of Jake Lewis is the person who's going to try to do that. So the 11 down in off the back straightaway, and hey, fans. Oh, no. Oh, yep. wow. There's got to be stuff. I mean, Greg, both these guys go down. Your two title contenders are down at the end of the back straightaway. That's going to put Jake Lewis up in the front. So we'll have to see what exactly happened here. You see the simplicity of which they fall, and it's identical at the same time. And you see Jake's bike moving as well. Now, Jake was just to the inside. And the reflexes that these riders have, when Jake sees Matthew crash, and then he sees PJ losing it, he's gonna react to that. And that's what saved the 85 from going down as well. Super Sport race number one. Red light is on. Clutches are out, and we're away. It looked like Jake Lewis got a really good launch on the Altus Motorsports machine. And Jay, as we were watching the warm-up, it kind of looked like the 85 might have chosen rain tires. It did. It looked like he's on reins, and so he's really got to try to check out right now. That's the only way Jake Lewis is going to do well. He's the heaviest guy out there, probably, and uh, he's on those wets. Hannah, what do you have for us? So you're 100% right. I checked in with our friends at Dunlop, and Jake Lewis is on rain tires. The only other rider at the front of the field running any kind of rain tires, Blake Davis. He's got a rain on the front and a slick on the rear, but the rest of those front runners are on slicks. Wait, who would have bet that Larry Pegram was in second place, and now Pegram's going for first? Wow. you got to be kidding me. The this 172 on the EasyHealthPlans.com top pro racing GSXR 750. He saw and knew that it was dry out here, and he just rolls right around the outside of Jake Lewis. And you can see now the gap he has pulled on him just in that. And of course, not as much lean angle, but Jake Lewis trying to hold off P.J. Jacobson. 
This is an opportunity for Matthew Skoltz if he can find some speed as PJ with slicks yep. rides around the outside. That, I was just going to say, PJ's just got to be patient at this Seven. point. He's so Skoltz really starting to move forward. There's enough time left in this race where if Skoltz can work his way up into second place, he's going to minimize that damage. Yeah, and you know, there's a lot of guys right now wishing they were on slicks, Greg. So that was the right choice. As Larry Pegram losing all kinds oh. of time. Oh, yeah. oh man. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, that's close there. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the thing is, is that there's, there is going to be some experience levels here. Some guys that have never ridden in these conditions ever. That's actually Seven. Teague Hobbs. And here you go, Matthew, going around the outside comfortably and on the inside. And uh, PJ right now, he is going to be coming to the white flag. Last time through, 19-second gap for PJ Jacobson. I'm sure his team on the wall has, has shown him that gap that he has. And uh, Matthew's going to be coming through here. Even though it's going to be a little bit while longer, he's going to be coming through here in second. Besides a blemish, a rider this season, meaning Matthew Skultz was off the podium in the second race of the year. And, of course, P.J. Jacobson, when those two collided at the ridge, other than that, it's been nothing but podium finishes, either first, second, or third for these two. So Matthew Skultz across the line on this final lap. And there comes Larry Pegram. He makes it across the line as well. As on our timing and scoring screen, we wait for Jake Lewis to arrive. And so as long as Larry Pegram can hold on to it. He's not even that far behind. You just see Matthew Whoa. had another big moment. Whoa. And he had crashed in that turn earlier in one of our warm-up sessions when we started the day when it had been raining. So Matthew picks that up and gets through. Teague Hobbs has gone all the way up through to fourth place. He goes 35-5. He was the second quickest rider on the on the. Uh, lap of the last lap, although I'm looking down the screen now, 35-1 for Mesa back there. Batik Hobbs done a nice job getting himself in that top five. So here comes P.J. Jacobson now with a gaggle of riders. He just went by Aiden Sneed on the MV Augusta a while back is now P.J. He just needs to follow be these guys. Yeah, to just move. chill out. Yeah. You know, you got, a, you got 19 seconds, so you know, just gotta just get this bike across the line, P.J. So for P.J. Jacobson and his Ray Hall Ducati Moto with the Expel team, as they come onto the front straightaway, P.J. Jacobson will take an unbelievable victory. What a win for his team in the championship as we await the arrival of his championship contender, the number 11 in Matthew Skultz, your championship points leader, who has not had an easy day on this track racing Yamaha R6. Going down earlier in the day, then again, yeah. two times today. Yep. What an effort by this team. And tip of the cap to Skultz. And how about Larry Pegram? the coolest? Will stand on the podium <laughs> in Super Sport race number one. And the worm, you got to be pumped. He's Winner circle. Heard him mention his daughter Riley. You said earlier his whole family is here with him this weekend, just soaking in these moments to your point of not knowing how many more times you get to do this, but these are special moments nonetheless. For PJ Jacobson, that was his 10th win now in the Super Sport category, six of them coming just this season. It's 13th overall win in Moto America competition, so certainly one of the great competitors.